What's that day, guys, here? Today, we're going to be opening up the iPhone 3GS, boys. You know I've been having the iPhone 3GS as long as I could, could if you would you could say. My stupid selfie stick cannot stay up like always. And I need a new one. I am soon getting this iPhone, this iPad, the first generation. And believe me, I think it looks pretty cool. It is officially time to end this bad boy. First, we're going to probably want to power this baby off. Because, well, you know, you don't want to be dead alive. It's about to power off. Well, it's loaded. Now it is officially off. I already have some tools out, but I'm still going to kind of look in here. I do have this small tool I just got. It's this tiny screwdriver. Really small. You can't really get in there, but, you know, it will help. So I have that sound of thing. This camera. First of all, I've just realized that this screen is super duper easy. Look at how easy it is with a small screwdriver to remove the screen. You can levitate the screen above. Super duper strange. What's weird about this is, guys, that you can literally lift up a screen. So. It's kind of awkward to lift up a screen on a phone. Now, first of all, these things, these are mainly plastic. I'm not sure, going hard enough, you can see that if you really do, it looks like plastic. But squishing it hard enough, you can see all the ink and other stuff under there. Let's remove this type. I've never removed the top of there you go. I just broke one of the seals. That was the main seal. To add a bunch of pressure. Immediately opening up the phone, you can clearly see that everything is different. So this is the top of the iPhone with a number on it. That satisfying click is right under there. Now opening up, you can clearly see that that is like a color. This is what looks like the battery right here. That is, a, that is like the small camera right there. All the power is probably still in there. I would just have to reconnect everything. Now, um, as you can see, all that metal is, um, all these numbers for some reason. It's pretty weird. Now, opening it up, removing everything, it's just, Removing this piece, this piece is part of the electrical. This piece is part of the electrical. Moving it, looks like a gun. Now the battery will be removed very shortly. Give me one. My mom was surprised that I said, Mama, Mommy.
uh, now whatever. So now you can kind of freely just play around. My brother wants the battery. I don't know why, but you know. You can clearly see, you were about to see how strong. Looks like I'm pretty strong now. I kind of wish. I kind of wish that today's phones were made with this type of strong ability. Back in 20 something something. I don't know when the year this baby came out, but tell me in the comments below. Now, going deeper into this phone, pulling all these all these tiny straps and metal. Clearly see that there's these pieces and glue. Mainly, the glue is around. Basically, some of the pieces are kind of the same. Like, I mean, everything's kind of different. I mean, this, I mean, everything's different, yeah. I mean, the metal framing. 100% different. I mean, just do not remove. I don't care about that. I'm not even sure if this is a battery. It doesn't even look like one. Or maybe it's just like, I'm not sure why they said do not remove. It doesn't look that much. But, you never, never know. Either battery's under here, or this is the battery. Nope. Not the battery. This, guys, is the iPhone 3GS battery. That was just a protection thing. And holy mackerel, there it is. This is a huge, cool battery. Now, that is like a battery of the iPhone 3GS. So it looks like in the iPhone 3 GS, there's like these protection screen. This looks like one of the main things. Wow, that battery came out easier. Now I'm gonna cap. My brother says he's gonna. There it is. Now you guys can just freely now reveal. I was clearly the battery, guys. And we're about to get into more of that, but getting into here, you can kind of clearly see that there, that right there is here's the camera. The small megapixel camera. Oh. The only thing that's glass. It was, well, the camera. After this, I'm just going to kind of just keep this. And just kind of just make it chill. What's weird is that the only glass in here was just, well, yeah. It just popped out. It used to not be that basic, guys. It used to be super duper basic. and thing no longer works, but... No, it's time for demolition here. Now, removing all the home button junk. I just wanted to put a one big summary out there that this phone looks really cool. Removing all different tiny pieces out of this phone. This looks amazing. Now, about the screen test, I'm about to rip out this back panel and see how workers would fix this. They probably won't even fix this anymore. First popping out some different pieces, you could easily do it. But about that. Now you can clearly see that that is my screwdriver under that thin plastic layer. See, I've officially separated the under part from the main plastic.
now officially removing That was it guys, that is it. Now we can clearly see there was real glass back here. Honestly, it's pretty insane. You can already tell that iPhones have changed much. I'm gonna keep this back piece. I'm gonna keep, I don't know, I'm gonna probably keep this piece. I'm trying to combine the pieces that I will keep. Keep that megapixel camera. I wanna keep some pieces here. You know, I'll just keep that much. I'm not, you really want to. I'm, yeah, I don't think I'm. A, I don't think I'm gonna keep this, but I think I will keep the home button. Has a sound in it. Cool, right? I'll keep that. Um, this thing I'm gonna throw away. This thing I'm gonna throw away. All the other pieces I'm just gonna be throwing away. I don't need them. But yeah, guys, that was the full demolition of the iPhone 3GS. It wasn't too much to be, in fact. Um, I thought there would be a little bit more to it, but that's it. There's the battery, all this junk. So I have to click to it. And thank you all so much for watching.